Hello everyone, Pulse here, and welcome to a uh, little tutorial video of sorts. Uh, I mainly just wanted to uh, talk about add-ons, basically. I've been seeing a lot of people in the comments and in this game uh, in general just asking about add-ons, how do you install them, how do you use them, things like that. So I wanted to do a quick little tutorial as how to install the add-ons and things like that. Now, as you can see on my screen, pretty plainly, I do have add-ons on I have the one on the left and right sides of my action bar which is the Tamriel Foundry tactical combat mod and then also here on the map you can clearly see the sky shards uh, mod that I was talking about in the first or second podcast one of them um, and and they do some pretty cool stuff and add-ons in general can add quite a lot to the game be it for someone like me that's very MMO uh, driven, I guess. I've, I've done a lot of MMOs and I like the kind of uh, RPG and, and theory crafting and things like that, those elements. And then there's add-ons that add to the immersive factor and things like that to help those that are coming over from prior test experiences to make this more of a, an immersive world in general. But how do you how do you get them? That's that's the main question I want to answer. So to do that, let's go to the desktop. Okay, so we've shut down ESO, we've closed it out and we're here at the desktop and what you want to do is go to a website such as ESO UI or curse.com is another one that offers add-ons It basically is a is an outlet for add-on and mod creators to to put their stuff out there so that others can download it and put it into their games now for this little example we're going to pick up a mod by the name of recount which is a damage meter of sorts that comes from WoW is where most people know it from and it basically gives a healing per second and damage per second which you can see right here in the screenshot and does the breakdown and I think that would be pretty cool to have so we're gonna download that and install it now there's two real ways to do it there's the way that I'm gonna show you to do which is the manual installation you just go to the download and go here now there is an alternative method which we'll show you here in the case of ESOUI.com, uh, it's the Minion Add-on Manager. Basically, you would download this little third-party little app of sorts, and it allows you to do, as it says here, install, update, and manage them pretty easily. It just would show up in the bottom right corner of your system tray. And uh, it makes things a little bit easier, but it is going through their system. So sometimes they have issues, things like that. Or maybe you just want to be in more control, uh, like I do. I like to usually... I like to do the add-ons manually uh, just because when things get a little bit broken I tend to like having a little bit more control. So I'm going to show you that method. The method of going through the third party managers, that's pretty self-explanatory. Once you hit the download it all goes pretty easy from there. But if you want to manually install, what you'll do is follow the uh, download link and in this case my uh, Recount is going to open up in WinRAR. However, it is if you don't have WinRAR, it's going to open uh, as a separate little folder here. And all you really need to do at this point is go to your computer, go to the user, to your documents, Elder Scrolls Online, Live, and Add-ons. And there you can see Foundry Tactical Combat and Sky Shards sitting right there. And all you need to do is drag and drop that bad boy right into the add-ons folder of Elder Scrolls Online. And that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing more complicated is some add-ons do have significant folders underneath them. Um, one that comes to mind from WoW was an Atlas loot kind of thing, which allowed you to see all the loot in the game, basically. And that had many folders, and if you missed one, it kind of broke. <laughs> but uh, let's go back into the game, and I'll show you um, show you what's there. All right, now we've logged back into the game. We're at the character select, and as you can clearly see here in the add-ons list, now I have recount in the list alongside Foundry Tactical Combat and Sky Shards. Now, I'll actually go back here, and as you can see, you can switch it up depending on the characters you want certain add-ons to be on, and also allow out-of-date add-ons if something is broken yet still working if that makes sense there are some cases where this has come in handy uh, in my previous MMO experience um, but let's go into the actual game and I'll show you what recount is gonna do for me now that it's installed into ESO okay now we're back in the game 
And as you can clearly see, I now have recount total damage done, the little meter bar right there on the side. For some reason I'm crouching, I'm not sure why I was taking a dump on that rock, but yeah, as you can see now I have recount as part of my add-ons. Let's go, let's go find a mob and I can kind of show you what recount can do and show you that the add-on is working after a quick little drag and drop deal. The lizards count? No, they don't count because they're a pile of shite. Ah, here we go. Okay, so let's gonna throw down some fire. Gonna lock them down. And then I'm gonna pummel them with my sword. And hit them with a lava whip or two. And he goes down. And as you can clearly see, it shows I've got a 216 damage per second output with flame lash and blockade of fire and burning talons and heavy attacks and all the nine yards and it really um it really breaks it all down for you so you can get into the theory crafting and things like that so for me recount is a really useful add-on and for most mmo goers recount is a useful add-on and has been for a long time basically if you've been coming from any prior mmos where damage um kind of theory crafting was a thing but as you can see, very easily was added to the game. It's already part of my UI, and um, in fact, I'll show you here. You can int, uh, enter the mouse mode. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head what the default is. I've set mine to, um, what is that guy there? Mm, quotations by the looks. Um, but you can drag the, the UI element around the screen, plop it down wherever. Uh, in fact, I'll probably place it somewhere like here. Oh, not quite there. Uh, there. Now, as you can see, it's not totally optimized. The add-ons in ESO are not perfect. Definitely not perfect. Um, an example I can show you here with the other add-on, Tamriel Foundry. If I run, you see my stamina bar going down. If I hit my map and go back down, a lot of times you can see the stamina bar come back into play. So, yeah, there it is. Behind the horse's HP and things like that. And also, this doesn't quite work with tab targeting, and there's a number of other things, but in general, add-ons can do what you would expect with the name. They can add some some extras, they can change the experience of the game to benefit your playstyle, basically. Uh, I'm an MMO goer, so I like all the theory crafting and things like that, but like I said earlier, there's all kinds of add-ons to make it so you can be more immersed in the world and, and remove a lot of the UI elements that are too MMO flavored, if you will. Now, I think that's all there is to it. Basically, add-on uh, installation is fairly straightforward, so hopefully this uh, video helped you guys out and maybe has you intrigued to try out some add-ons of your own to improve your experience. But thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.